Crafting Kiki here with you and I thought I would do something with you guys. I don't usually do this, but I need to make my stepmom uh, a new journal. That's what I want to give her uh, as one of her presents. And so I chose this uh, little golden book to, uh, to give to her and uh, well to alter and then give to her it already had didn't have the um the little covering here so you can al already see the um uh the staples so i thought we would uh, alter this together maybe and uh, we will make something out of it and i would bring you along with the difference for the different steps and this is my very first time doing a little golden book um, book alteration and I'm hoping it's gonna go well it's um, I've been wanting I've been watching a lot of people do them and I've been wanting to do one for a long time but I just couldn't get the courage to do so why won't Thing open. I'm trying to find a way, but, but this is going to be too fragile. Ah, I got it. Okay, so can we remove one maybe? It's not as easy as. It looks. I don't want to break the cover either. I might be able. Oh, I will be able to pull it apart like that. Okay, so that's gonna work. Just need to remove the other one as well. And so I went through my fabric, all the scraps of fabrics that I had, and I had purchased a bag of miscellaneous fabric from the Salvation Army uh, for 99 cents and they looked interesting I didn't know the size exactly of what I had picked up but there's this beautiful fabric that I thought would be perfect with this because it has the hearts and it goes with the um, the blue of what he's wearing so that's what uh, I'm gonna be using Okay, so let's uh, remove the pages. I guess I'll do them one at a time. So by doing it this way, I guess we'll be able to keep the book as it is and not have to um, not have the trouble of having to fold these pages because I'd really like to keep this as it is so okay so this makes it a lot easier to remove okay so let's go like this here we go and now I've got all the pages of the story So I'm going to have to find a way of putting them, and they're not numbered, so yeah, I have to make sure that when I put them into the signature that I put them in the proper order, otherwise the story won't make much sense. Okay, and uh, I have this here which I thought would be good enough for the first uh, little golden book that I do. Uh, as a spine, it's uh, actually uh, a little over an inch and three quarters. So I think it should be a fairly thick um, book. I don't want it too, too thick um, because I know that once, you know, sometimes you start a journal and, and you, you're really, really excited about it. But then, at one point, you get uh, a bit tired of it. So, I don't want it too thick so that she can't, you know, finish it. 
um, if you understand what I mean. Okay, so I was thinking of this is from file folders. You know those big green file folders and you put this at the bottom of them to make them... Um, they're not the file folders, sorry. They're the... Um, where you put in the filing cabinets to put the file folders in. And so the when they were filled up at work, um, she, the my employee didn't use these, so she gave them to me. And I thought those would be perfect to make a spine. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I think I'm going to double it up just so that it's a bit stronger. Now, I want it to be the right size. So we'll make a mark. On it, so like so. And make sure both are the same size. And then cut these down. So I'm going to keep this because it could make uh, some fun artist trading coins out of it. Or other little embellishments. This one is just a tad too big. Okay, that's good. Put that aside. And now it's time to glue this thing together. So I'll put these aside. So I'm not sure which type of paper I want. It's probably going to be a lot of scrapbooking paper. And I've been accumulating um, ephemera with uh, rabbits on it. So that's what I want to use. to uh, make the tags and pockets and all that sort of good stuff. fabric Oops. something just fell okay so I don't want to cover too much of the book so but it has to hold together I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe something like this so I'm gonna have to cut it straight because it's not straight right now So, yeah, so I'll go and cut it um, at my table because it's going to be easier and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back with my cut out um, piece of uh, fabric. So this is my spine and it's going to wrap around like that so that it's on the inside that I have the... Um, uh, the ending. Uh, the seam. Uh, so so I'm going to be putting this like that. I'm 
and then the other one not like this. I want to make sure that I have the thickness um, between the two so that I can actually um, fold my book. So let's uh, start off by putting glue on this. And if you do these books, you might be saying, well, you're doing it all wrong. Um, so, yeah, I'm not saying that uh, there's a lot of good tutorials out there. This is not a tutorial, this is more of a craft with me type of um, type of video. So, so yeah. Um, Even if I go over, it doesn't really matter because eventually this will be fabric over it, and it will also need. It's also going to need to be glued. So I'm kind of eyeballing it because that's how I roll. Making sure that those two are lined up at least and I'm loving that it's not it hasn't been written on so it's kind of fun um, so my stepmom will be able to put her name there This is my desk being fairly cleaned. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Good. Okay, so now I need to put the glue on top here so that I can actually put the fabric on top. I'll make sure that the spine doesn't uh, come undone, obviously. And, uh, and this is going to go on top. 
So we're just going to put a bit of glue here so that the fabric can glue onto itself. And my glue is getting all gobby. I don't have a fresh BB wipe, of course. Okay, I clean that off. And put that I'm going to have enough. Okay, so I'll let that dry, but that's the first, that's the first part. I think it's going to look really cute. I love that I had that fabric and of course I can't cut straight. So there's a little, uh, there's a little gap, but that's okay. Cause I'm thinking of putting some, uh, a bit of lace, uh, just a tiny bit on it. So. So that will be that. Now for the papers that I'm going to use with it, I had cut out some signatures um, before that was too big. I had cut out too many um, papers and so I've got extras and I thought I could make the, um, I could make the pages out of that. So, so like all of these, maybe not the cupcake. Or do I use the cupcake? It depends on the pages in the book, I guess. So if I go this, then that could be pretty to have this here. And then that, it's going to be actually, I think I would like this here to be the page that goes next to this. I think I want to put some music sheets as well. I will leave this to be the middle, I think, or maybe not. I'm not sure. That's cute though with this. That's very cute with that. So it might be between those two pages because I kind of like this together. Oh, I made a nice mess on my surface with the glue, so let me clean that off a bit. Which is why I love working with um, a glass. And this is a piece of glass that I found in a store um, and just asked if it was for sale and how much you would sell it to me for. And if I'm not mistaken, it was between 10 and and at the five and ten bucks so really inexpensive and it's perfect and it's really thick 
so it's perfect for this okay so then we got that which is kind of snowy to look at all the papers, the different papers that I have. It could be pretty with, with this, either that. For that, open it up. And with the pink, maybe something like this. Got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. One, two, three, four, five. like the idea of this overhanging and then this and this is cute so one two three four five six and we said one two three four five six as well so I'm gonna go and choose some more papers that I can I can use. Um, I might split. I think I want maybe three signatures, but I always end up making them too big. So I might put a bit less page per signature just so uh, the difficulties. Because if I really need my pages to fit together, because otherwise the story is not gonna be not gonna go if I put them in more signatures right because if you want to be able to tell the full story you have to have them in proper order and if I was to remove this then the next page here doesn't fit with the story I'm kind of stuck unless I go and make the other signature with just regular paper okay so many decisions so I will go and choose that and uh, for the next video my paper is going to be cut out and uh, decided and then and then we can make maybe some of the embellishments or something like that so looking forward to knowing what you think about this if uh, you like crafting with me like like this um, so please do leave me comments and let me know. Bye everyone!